I seem to have spilled my iced coffee on the cabinets. Welcome back to Creating Julie Silversmith. Today I will show you how to clean painted kitchen cabinets, how my painted kitchen cabinets look one year after I painted them. I did that in a video and I'll link that up here in the eye in the circle. You can click that to see the video of how I painted my kitchen cabinets without sanding. And I will show you my recipe for making a cleaning solution that you can use on your painted kitchen cabinets and also on your countertops and pretty much anything else. So let's get started. I better clean that up before it stains. The first thing you need is a soft cloth and my special cleaning solution. First, let's review how my cabinets look after one year. They've got some scuffs here and dirt, a little stains. And over here, this is a high use area. Over here, this is where we have the garbage can and so we open and close this a lot. Some of the paint is missing right there from wear and tear. A little paint, looks like it got nicked maybe by a fingernail. But all in all, the kitchen looks fantastic. We even had to paint the door to make it match. A little dirt here, some more jugs stuck to it here. Still looks nice and shiny and very fresh. I got these giant Q-tips to clean in tight spaces. Oh, it's here, it's here. There it is. I have touch-up paint for whenever I find a little chip. Very dark spots may take two coats, so wait for that to dry before you put your second coat on. And wipe away any extra that gets on there. I know it's tempting to try to paint over the dirt but don't do that, wash it first because the dirt sometimes will come right back up through the paint. I know you thought it. Here's a little paint. These giant Q-tips are called Swabbies, not sponsored. I just love these things. They get in all kinds of little places that you want to clean, like especially around the top of the Instant Pot that gets so gross. These are great and disposable. Perfect. So see how much dirt I got out of that one dust. So that's why every once in a while you have to go clean those. I had to clean them anyway, even when they were brown, ugly countertops. Wait, cabinets. <laughs> I had to clean them anyway when they were brown cabinets, so, but now with white cabinets, you really see it if there's dirt, so you do have to kind of keep them cleaner, but the look overall is so fresh, and it makes for a very beautiful light that travels around the house. 
my old cabinets used to make my pictures look very yellow and dark. So I really just, I really love the kitchen white. I'm so glad I did it. And I think we spent like, maybe it cost us about $150 to do it ourselves at most. So it was totally worthwhile project. So do check out that video if you're thinking about painting your kitchen cabinets without sanding. And the reason for not wanting to sand is because it's tedious, it's awful. And you can do it by just using some, a couple of different products that make your paint adhere very well to the wood. My recipe, my El Cheapo recipe for cleaning solution is take a spray bottle and fill it one eighth full with rubbing alcohol. Put two to three drops of Dawn dish detergent into your bottle and fill it the rest of the way with water. It works great on countertops and on the refrigerator, and on the face of the oven and the front of the dishwasher, all those things that get little splatters of dirt. And I also use it to polish my kettle, which I haven't polished yet, so don't look too close. <laughs> use a soft washcloth to wipe away the dirt. Don't use anything scratchy because you could really get through that paint if you tried. If you wanted to smell nice, you could add two to three drops of essential oils to this. I don't bother. It smells fine to me. I can see myself. There's a little stain here that is resisting being cleaned. There's a line. So I've just put a little bit of water and bleach mixture on this rag. And it's almost invisible now. If your cabinets aren't really pure white, you may not want to try that. Test it on an area that doesn't show very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond as quickly as I can. Have a great week. Bye. If you want to see more Henry, go ahead and subscribe. Henry, do you agree? Yes, I agree, Mommy. <laughs> eh, cut that. that. That just sucked. Thanks for watching. Repeat the almighty algorithm.